Hi, this is Harish here. Okay. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part triple one. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how twice table spaces for table command with the lock mode intent to update is not working. The scripts and data files that I'm using <clears throat> sorry are available at uh, db2 luw academy dot blogspot dot in for free this slide talks about the problem scenario and solution um, the problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how the quiz table spaces for table command with the mode intent to update is not working uh, actually i wouldn't say it's not working but uh, but kc has very sparse uh, documentation on on this uh, like very little documentation on this so uh, i will be presenting like my understanding of this uh, command so twice table spaces for table uh, has three modes of locking the table spaces and table <coughs> sorry uh, one is the share mode so if i lock the table space uh, in in share mode the table and the table spaces are are locked like for read only so even the quizer cannot modify it which makes sense so like here is a use case for that like i want to lock the table i i, I don't want anybody to do any modifications for the table for the time being maybe one or two days so instead of going the going at each user so certain certain people might have delete access certain people might have uh, read access certain people might have update access so instead of going and changing a lot of things in the in the user permissions and revoking and again granting instead of like you know it's a painful thing so instead of that uh, what we can do is quiz it in a share mode so even though you have select access delete access update access the the table is just not available to you uh, maybe you can uh, uh, quiz reset later so quizzes are like permanent locks or persistent locks so unless you reset it, it's going to be there. So this is a very good thing to do. And also, if you lock the table space in a quiz to share mode, you can take a very consistent copy of the table space. So I think I, I made a tutorial on, on that, like how to take an offline backup of a table space. So you can search that. So so quizing table space for in a share mode definitely makes uh, uh, some, some couple of business cases are there for the use cases are there. We can use it. and. Uh, with exclusive mode also so if you quiz the table space in exclusive mode the quizer can modify it but no read rate for other other uh, users so that is also a good use case like for example say today i i load the data into that table but for uh, for the next two days i don't want that table even to be uh, read by other users like no access to anybody until i finish my data load update insert delete whatever i, I can do work on the table make sure the data and table is all proper in terms of data integrity then release the table to the end user if it takes two days in those two days i don't want the end user to even look at the table right so which is which is a good thing so see i mean not I, I don't know how much of realistic business use cases are are these one but as a command as a lock mode it makes sense so share and exclusive are fine now coming to intent to update my understanding is it will like the quizer should be able to write so or update the table whereas others will be able to get a read only copy of it based upon their isolation level uh, or not i don't know because it's not working that way so if you logically extend like how the quiz table spaces behave for in a share mode how it behaves in an exclusive mode then intend to update we can just logically conclude that this is the way it should be but it's not working that way which makes there's no difference between the share mode and the intent to update mode right see because in the share mode also nobody will be able to update it even the quizer so the, the same thing is happening in intent to update also so i'm not sure so something is a miss here okay now what is the solution there's no solution i'm going to suggest for in this tip because this is just a very little documentation is available so if there is we can say you know this is how this should work if I can get some documentation, then I can say it's not working, so it's a bug or defect or, or you know, something like that. Or I can give some workaround or solution. We can look for all those things. But here I'm not sure. Like, uh, it's I don't know. So uh, or maybe it's a historical thing. 
right? See, maybe in version two or version three or version four of DB2 databases, we had to quiz the table uh, before we load data into that. So maybe it's just some kind of a historical command which was there and it's just there all along in all the releases. I don't know. So, um, so let's, uh, without further delay, let's get into the examples uh, so that it it will uh, it will be more easier to understand. I don't know why my full screen is not working. Let me go to the full screen mode. Okay, so here it is. Um, so let us open a terminal. And this is the sample script file. So I have to start the instance. I am connecting to jungle database with user db2 inst1. Obviously, he is the instance uh, user or owner. I'm creating a table from the uh, ID integer name character in user space one, inserting few records into that. And I'm also running this cupd.sql, which is like puzzled update. So it, it is doing some puzzled update. So let me run that quickly. So, okay. And uh, I'm using db2 11.1 express C edition. Oh, this one, I'm not sure. This is an enterprise edition. So this is definitely not an issue uh, with, a, with an edition. So if we can say, see, maybe certain things works in Express C or certain things works in uh, other things. So it's not even an edition issue. I, I have even checked this in a version also, 10.5 also, it doesn't seem to work. But in any case, so I have, I have created the table. I have inserted uh, three records into that. And this is the cupd.sql, this is the content. It creates a procedure. It just loops through and updates the table with the name uh, as E. Uh, it's doing a cursored update. See, select ID comma name from from for update. So it's like a cursored update with the cursor blocking or row blocking. Okay, so that's that's done so far. Now coming to the quizing. So quiz table spaces for table from be share. So if I do it in share mode, none of these things will work. So I'll just show you that. Okay. So quiz I have done. So you can see that the quiz command got completed successfully in share mode. So after that, the quizer itself will not be able to update, will not be able to delete, will not be able to insert. So straightforward. And even I cannot load uh, load anything into that. So let's just run that. It's just a simple del file with some few sample records inserting to Brumby table. So it's not doing that. So okay. So the next thing, uh, reset the quiz and lock it in exclusive mode. Uh, in exclusive mode, it should work. So that's the understanding. Uh, so we have we have reset it and we have acquired the quiz and the quiz is in exclusive mode. So here it will work. So that's the understanding. So let me run the, the first three commands. So you can see that all successful update, delete, insert, good. Now I load the load the data also. So let me do that as well. And the load command should also be successful and you can see that the load command has uh, added few records here so 10 20 30 xyz okay so i can show you that from b.del okay 10 20 30 so it has loaded the data no issues in exclusive mode um okay so next next let's go to the reset the quiz and intent to update okay let's do that now this is the tricky part okay this is the one this is the one we don't have an understanding or it doesn't work so update delete insert okay i'm doing all that nothing worked so update uh, sql 0290n for all the statements update delete insert even the quizer is not able to do anything loading i don't think so so i mean i have done it it doesn't work so okay so that is also not possible and this is the procedure which i call the cupd which we created doing a cursored update that is also not working so nothing is working i don't know how how to get this thing done okay so but any case um, so that's the tip that i wanted to uh, provide in this video tutorial so there's no solution uh, but uh, it's it's more of an understanding issue so if you also have used this and use this command specifically in intent to update mode if you can share some use cases or uh, share some inputs uh, you're more than welcome to do it please uh, put some comments in the youtube uh, page so that it is accessible to everybody um, that's it in this video tutorial uh, see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye